What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Artie Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So I'm about to give y'all a reaction like I've never done before. Y'all are not going to see or hear what it is that I'm reacting to. I'm just going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. So many people have been blowing me up over the past month for me to check out this video. This is the girl. What, what's her name? Tessie? Whatever her name is. Y'all know the girl. The girl that was uh, making fun of the the young lady that had cancer, um, and we we did several videos on the relationship between her, her father, and whatnot. But they showed up on an episode of Doctor Phil. That's what I can't play it on my channel. Unfortunately, um, it will get claimed, so I have to be mindful of that and just talk about it. So I'm about to watch it, and then I got to get back to these orders. Y'all see that? It's, it's a ton of them. That's not half of what y'all see right there. Um, but I got about 10 more to go, and then I can take them to the post office. But I'm going to give y'all one other reaction today, J. Cole Freestyle, before we do tonight's live stream. Your boy be grinding. It's Monday. It's time to work, baby. But, uh, yeah, so this video is titled, Man Says His Ex-Wife and Teen Daughter Statements Against Him Are Lies. So I'm going to be kind of repeating some of the stuff that they're saying and then give you guys my thoughts and opinions on following. Because y'all want that. Y'all been asking me for it. So let's do it. Our boys goes ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, y'all. So check this out. Here go a statement sent in by Maya's mom. This is very fascinating. She said, I wanted to defend Maya. She's a victim of Jim's. He created this. But she seeks attention in a sick way because she's never been validated before. Jim was physically abusive to me and Maya, but he was smart about it. Jim would hold me against the bed. He would push my head on the floor. A few times he held a gun to my head. Maya was spanked many times, sometimes left marks. I only stayed because I couldn't control Maya on my own. Jim would tell Maya, you're stupid or you're going to fail in life. She can lie too. Maya can't manage her emotions. We know that to be true. We definitely saw all of that unfold. I eventually had to leave because Jim was abusive to me. I wanted to take Maya with me, but I was scared of her at times and couldn't handle her alone. So that's Maya's mom's statement. And based on what we've seen from both Maya and Jim, I'm not, look, I, I believe that to be somewhat true. I don't know all the facts, but that sounds like it could be accurate. Oh, wow. So, all right. So now Maya and Jim are talking and immediately Jim's like, that statement was full of lies. And Maya's like, no, that was correct. She's not lying at all. Now, real quick, so um, Jim just said that if the parent, if Maya's mom truly believed the statement that she made, she had opportunities, several opportunities to where she could have took Maya and had custody of Maya uh, when she was younger. Now, when I listen to Jim talk, no lie, I feel like he may be truthful and honest or he could be a master manipulator and he can give off that appearance of being genuine, real, and um, logical and sane. But we don't know. That's the unfortunate thing. We don't know. We're not living in that household with them. We don't. We have an experience what they what they all go through and, and what they do to each other. Let me be very clear. Now, Doctor Phil is asking her, or asking, I'm sorry, asking Jim about the statements that his ex-wife made, and Jim is saying that everything is a lie. Everything that she said in that statement was a complete and utterly lie. Um, but you know then and then dr phil's follows with hey what about you know the gun to the head being abusive jim is denying all of it he's like i never did any of that you didn't uh, told her and you got to pay attention That's, i'm gonna leave the link to the original down in the description box below you got to pay attention to the mannerisms of jim as well um to kind of pick up on subtle nuances to see if he's actually telling the truth or lying you know, maya her mannerisms her her personality, her facial expressions, when she talks, the words that she choose to address things with, she, I'm not gonna lie, she's not the most believable. She's not the most believable. If I would've met her in person, I wouldn't believe a single word that came out of her mouth, um, truth be told. Not to say anything bad against a girl, but sane, logical-minded individuals, we all think that way. We can see certain things in people and be like, I can't trust this person. You never know if they're telling the truth or not. Right now, Dr. Phil is talking to Maya 
and telling her, hey, you would be better off marketing yourself different than the way you're doing. It's like you're, you're using negativity. You should market yourself using positivity and try to be a light in young girls eyes or in their life. Um, there may be some truth to that, but at the same time, we all know um, negativity um, kind of gets more attention than positivity. You know what I'm saying? And that's the sad truth. It's a sad truth. But at the same time, she wouldn't be known if it wasn't for the negativity that she put out into the world. Well, yeah, look, <laughs> this family has so many issues that they need to deal with that they found it necessary to come on Dr. Phil to get help. Truth be told, I feel like that might have been more clout for them. It's like the um, the the fame, the 15 minutes was kind of dying down a bit, so they needed to stir something up. They're like, yo, what can we do? What, oh, you know what? Let's publicize this even more. Let's take it to Dr. Phil. Let's take it to Dr. Phil. If I felt like they were genuinely trying to get some real help and help their family dynamic, then they wouldn't have had to go on to a nationally uh, national televised TV show in order to do so. They would have seek some more private help and rather than trying to go on here and get help in the public eye. It's just adding to the clout. They created their own clout off of anger and hatred. Now they're getting even more clout off of Dr. Phil. But um, yeah, y'all know, y'all were really pushing for me to check out this video. And I, I told y'all, I didn't even want to deal with this chick no more or this this mess anymore, but gave y'all my two cents. Do with that as you please. But anyway, I got to get back to work over here. Y'all know what time it is. Like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy on the ground, man, Twitter, at Artic Kicks, and I will catch you guys in tonight's live stream. See ya!